good morning welcome or welcome back to sustainable sierra youtube channel if this is your first time visiting me here hi welcome my name is sierra and i'm an american who lives in england and i share videos of my family's life here or whatever it is i'm really excited about on the days that i sit down to film videos if you've been around here for a while you might notice that my voice sounds a little bit different in this video what can i say it's that time of year i've got some kind of thing going on in the respiratory area so it's not COVID it's just the regular January after Christmas crud that everybody has right now in Yorkshire so it is what it is as you guys can tell by the title of today's video today I'm making another lush video which are some of my favorite videos to film aside from my family vlogs um which is most of what I do these days on my channel but I also do book reviews and adoption stuff as well but anyways in today's lush video I'm not sure what the title is going to be but I'm actually doing a combination of three different hauls in my video today. I'm gonna to explain about that in a second, but I bought some things from the Valentine's Day collection as well as the Lunar New Year collection, and I also bought some couple of things last week that I didn't show you guys, and then I bought some things a couple of weeks ago and I forgot to film, and I haven't forgot, also forgot to put them away, so I figured I would just take them out and show you for fun. So anyway, today, January 11th in the UK was the launch of the Lunar New Year range. I'm very excited about it. I have some of it over here, and then last Thursday, a week ago, the Valentine's Day collection launched, and so I picked up a bunch of that, but last week was busy and I didn't have time to make a video. And then I also realized when I was pulling all of this stuff out that I still had things from the Boxing Day sale that I didn't show you because I felt like I didn't really have enough to make a Boxing Day video. But anyways, um, let's just get started. I'm going to show it to you guys in the order of release. So I'm going to start with Boxing Day. Usually in the past, my strategy with the Boxing Day sale has been to preload my cart the night before with all the things I want to buy and then check out um, first thing in the morning on Boxing Day as soon as the sale launches. However, that didn't work this year because when I went in to pay for all of my stuff, I had logged in 15 minutes past when the sale started on both the US site and the UK site and 90% of everything that I wanted was gone. So I will show you the three items I was able to get officially on the Boxing Day sale. Um, actually, two of them I got in my local store, but that's beside the point. The first item from the Boxing Day sale I was actually able to get a hold of was some of the Golden Linnet Seed Soap, which is actually my favorite soap that came out for Christmas this year. I love the Christmas Cranberry, don't get me wrong, um, although there was none of that left when I tried to check out and buy some, but the only soap I could actually get was the Golden Linseed that I wanted, which Golden Linseed is lovely. I actually had this in our bathroom right now. I've had it in there since November, and I'm actually really enjoying it because of all the little seat linen seeds inside that act as like exfoliators which is great in the winter for dry skin but it smells amazing I love it it's to me it smells like like creamy caramel plus some spices but it's actually the crisp the camel scent and I just love it so I was only able to get one piece unfortunately I should have gotten the entire wheel but I didn't so regrets Anyway, moving on to the next item that I got, I actually got two of them, were a couple of dreidel, dreidel, dreidel bath bombs, which I love the scent of these. Actually, these are the fourth and fifth dreidel bath bomb that I purchased so far. Um, I'm really excited about them this year specifically because this is the first year ever they've actually had like a proper Hanukkah product. Like they've had Hanukkah gifts before, but they didn't have like an actual Hanukkah collection until this year, which is really exciting. But um, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel is the apple crumble scent, which is the apple um, bubble bar. It's like a mac an apple shaped macaroon and it smells amazing. And I guess the idea is it's supposed to kind of smell like the applesauce or it is supposed to smell like the applesauce that you put in your latkes at Hanukkah. So really exciting. I love this bath bomb. I probably should have bought even more of them because I love the scent. But the number one reason I love this product is because everything that's happening in the world right now, I feel like the community could use as much support as possible. So that's one of the little ways that I thought I could do that. But that and it's an amazing product. So there's that. And then um, the next item I got in the Boxing Day sale is not actually a Christmas product. It's actually just like a regular product that was on discount actually at my store a couple of days later. Um, and it is the Argan facial oil, which I haven't talked about Argan facial oil in a while. I love it. It was 50% off, I think, because I don't think they're discontinuing it. I think it's 50% off because it um, was manufactured a certain number of months previously, and then they wanted to quick sale them to get rid of them or something. But anyways, I love Argan face and moisturizer because it smells like rose jam to me. Well, I guess rose jam smells like Argan oil. It has some lemon oil and geranium in here as well, but for me personally, I just mostly smell Argan oil, which is one of my favorite scents. So I love it. It's really wonderful and moisturizing for this time of year and for dry skin. So I was excited to get it half off because I think that guy is like nine pounds. So half off nine pounds, pretty good. And the last and final item is actually not a Christmas product either, but I did buy it at the time at which I purchased my Christmas items. And it is, again, a later launch item, but it is the Intergalactic Bubble Bar, which smells just like Intergalactic. And by the way, look how pretty this is. Yes, I did pay full price for this, by the way, but I purchased it at the same time, so I figured I would just show it to you. But it smells, again, like the shower gel and the Intergalactic Bath Balm, and it's just delicious. So 
oh it's gonna make an amazing bath cocktail i cannot wait okay so that's everything from the christmas range slash 50 percent off range i purchased this year so now we're gonna move on to the valentine's day which is amazing um valentine's day collection historically at lush has always been a really small collection but this year i feel like lush went big which is really great and i think one of the reasons for that is because of course lush has been expanding their product ranges halloween was really big this year as well but i think also because i feel like valentine's day is one of those holidays either you love it or you hate it and you know historically valentine's day has always been kind of a day for couples but the last few years i've noticed more and more companies have been pushing the narrative that valentine's day is for everyone and valentine's day is for you so it's a really lovely way if even if you don't have a partner to kind of like you know practice some self-care so um i think it's really exciting they late again the collection is huge i only purchased a couple of items because so as I've mentioned in previous videos, I just have a huge Lush collection and one of the things I've noticed over the last year or so, because I've been a little bit busier and maybe I'll make a video about that, but is I've been buying more bath bombs each month than I use each month and my collection keeps getting bigger and bigger and because of that I've been trying to buy less bath bombs in a month than I use in a month, if that makes sense, to ho hopefully kind of like dwindle my collection down just a little bit. But anyway, if you didn't move on, I need to know all that. Let me show you guys the things that I bought from the Valentine's Day range. So. First item I bought from the Valentine's Day range is the Love Letter Bath Bomb, which looks like this, and they're beautiful. I got two of them because Little Man was shopping with me and he wanted one. I think I also kind of look like Hogwarts letters. I don't know. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comment section. I don't know why I think that, but they're really cute, and they are amazing, and I have not had a chance to try this yet. I don't know how I have not used it for the past week, but it is packed with a lot of moisturizing oils, which is going to be like very like luxurious, make you feel, you know, extra gorgeous afterwards, but it smells 10 out of 10. I'm going to give it a little smell for you, and then I'm going to redo the actual description because I don't remember what's in it, so. Oh my gosh, that smells gorgeous. It's like, to me, Butterbear plus vanilla plus some kind of a floral. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And actually, they did demo this for us in the store, and there's little popping, I think they're popping candies in it that are really pretty in the bath, and they float. According to the Lush app, the main ingredients in Love Letter are coconut milk powder, fair trade organic cocoa butter, bergamot oil, olibanum oil, and geranium oil. So, personally, when I smell this, I don't really smell that much of the bergamot right now, but I think the bergamot scent is one of those ones that's going to come out in this particular product more in the water, but it does smell incredible, and I definitely can smell that geranium in there, so I think it's going to be a 10 out of 10. It's not going to be, I don't think, a big show because it's a wife bath bomb, but I think it would be really good. You guys know what I mean? Okay, now moving on to the next item in the Valentine's range that I purchased is the Love Potion Bath Bomb, which... I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I haven't even smelled this yet, but when I was in the store, they did a demo of this product in the store, and I saw the water, and um, I'll see if I can find a photo from the Lush app, but the water is like a purple sparkle, like, I don't even know how to describe it. Do you guys know how intergalactic is kind of like that blue crest toothpaste with the sparkles in it? This is like that, but it's like dark lavender purple and it's amazing so as soon as I saw it in the water I was like I need that bath bomb I don't even care about the smell I need the bath bomb I'm really big personally on the smell but also on like the like performance of products in the bath so if it's got a good performance I'm gonna love it but anyways let's actually give this a real smell and then I'll tell you guys what is inside of it closer up you can see it's got some candies in there again these are popping candies and because it's a love potion it's supposed to like kind of give you that like fireworks thing or at least that's the idea but anyways let's give it a smell Wow, that's a lot sweeter than I was expecting. Um, it kind of smells like sweet, sweet tarts to me, which very well might actually be coming from the popping candies in the front of it. According to the app, the main ingredients in Love Potion are Sicilian red mandarin oil and almond essential oil, which I love mandarins, so that's probably why I love this. And also the almond is what makes it smell so sweet. So yeah, the more I smell it, um, I don't know if I would have picked this up necessarily if I hadn't seen the demo of it before, but... Either way, I think this is going to be fantastic, so I'm very excited about that. And then I have one more product from the Valentine's Day range I want to show you. Um, I didn't buy any other things because of the fact that I just have way, way too much once again. Also, I didn't want to buy anything that I had previously used just because, again, my Lush collection is crazy. But anyways, last thing I want to show you from the Valentine's Day range is the shower gel that came out for this year. And it smells amazing, like 15 out of 10, and it is the Passion Shower Gel, which I have, again, way too many shower gels in my shower. and so. 
my people who work at my Lush store are amazing to me and they don't even give me a hard time about it because they know how much money I spend in there and how much Lush stuff I already have. But they did give me a, a huge sample pot. Well, it's not that huge. Um, there was a little bit more of it in there, but I've actually used it a couple of times. But the Passion Shower Gel has the exact same scent as the passion delight like foam soap that they had last year um that smelled amazing and so i have it here i don't know if you guys can see it's kind of hard to see but it's got this like beautiful red like passion color um and so it's sweet it's fruity it's delicious i'm actually gonna put a little bit on my finger so you guys can actually see the color but just look at how pretty that is isn't that amazing but i have used this in the shower a couple of times i feel like even though it is the same scent as the passion fruit delight soap um, I still feel like it has like a more like sweet smell and it's even a little bit stronger which I really like so I love this. I probably will actually go back and buy the bottle, the small bottle. I think the main reason people in my store give me the samples for these is because they know I'll probably come back and buy the small bottle because it's so good but anyways I know what you guys are doing. Don't even act like you don't know what you're doing. Anyways, moving on, there's one more item I want to show you from that particular shopping day, and that item is a shampoo bar, and it is the Angel Hair Shampoo Bar, which again, is not a Valentine's Day product, but I did buy it when I was in the store, and I picked up this one because, one, I was running out of shampoo, and also, little man wanted to try something a little bit different, particularly this winter, his scalp has been a little bit drier, and when you have dark hair and a dry scalp, y'all who know, you know, it's not good. So he wanted to try the angel hair, which is has a little bit of witch hazel in it, which may or may not be helpful for dry scalps. Um, if you have like a flaking situation, so he wanted to try it. So this is the one that we picked up and it smells really good. As I said, it has witch hazel, rose, and ylang ylang oil, so it's a little bit florally. Luckily, my little guy doesn't care, but yeah. So far, he's been using it for a couple of times, so it doesn't look perfect. I've used it once, and we both enjoyed it. And now, we're going to move on to the last and final collection I'll be showing you guys today, which is the Lunar New Year collection, or in our house, we call it the Chinese New Year collection, because our family is 33% Chinese. The really tiny launch is actually only two items. One of them is a gift set that I did not buy, because I do not need the shower gel in with the bath bomb that is in the gift set, even though I really wanted it. But... Um, the bath bomb that came out for this year is called the Inner Dragon Bath Bomb and it is gorgeous. Just let me show it to you. I got two of them because, you know, one for me and one for Little Man, but is this not one of the best holiday bath bombs Lush has come up with? It's amazing. So I'm going to put one of them down, but the dragon actually wraps all the way around the bath bomb. And I suspect that maybe it's going to do like some kind of like show where like the colors like shoot out or something i don't know maybe it'll be surrounded in red and gold i don't know but it smells so so good it also just rolled off the table um, i'm gonna give it another smell Ooh, that smells really good and i think it smells a little bit different than last year's i'm not sure if they use the same scent every year this one to me smells a little bit more perfumey so i'm just going to check it on the app but according to the lush app um the inner dragon bath bomb is scented with Sicilian red mandarin oil, vanilla absolute, orange flower absolute, ginger powder, and mandarin powder. Interesting. Mandarin powder. I don't know if I've ever seen mandarin powder used in a bath bomb, so that's really exciting. Probably want to buy at least one more before the New Year um, holiday celebration because I'll probably want to use this one in a couple of days and then one like on Lunar New Year, so I'll probably do that. So yeah, that collection, even though it's tiny, is beautiful and I'm super excited about it. So with that having been said, my table is full of bath bomb dust, as am I, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. Um, I know this video is a little bit different than the ones I usually make for Lush. I like to make individual ones for each collection, but since I had so little from each range, I thought this would just be better. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your favorite items from the Boxing Day sale, if you got any, the Valentine's Day range and the Lunar New Year ranges. A like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy New Year. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Boxing Day. Bye.